Anyway, what we've done, we've finished the um, finished the front and the back of this lower section of roof. So, as a result, there's no chance of water getting in that way. So we've uh, we tore off the flat roof and uh, we slid the trusses in between and now we're just ready to uh, we're taking off we're taking off the uh, jip lap and taking off the insulation the insulation that's behind here anyway so the deal is wh what we're going to do is we're going to put the R14 inside of there and we're going to cover it back up uh, with the uh, aspenite then we're going to uh, Tyvek that and then we're going to end up uh, later on after that's done the uh, the stucco guy uh, is going to come and put his, his styrofoam on inch and a half styrofoam and then we're uh, then he's going to put his stucco on anyway 612 that's going to have a shelf on the side so uh, at we haven't put the uh, we haven't put that shelf on yet. So that's going to stick out maybe uh, somewhere up to uh, seven, 17, 18 inches, uh, somewhere there. Anyway, what we're doing on the front, we're creating a um, we're going to have it flush with the windows, um, and it's going to it's going to be the illusion. It's going to be just a curtain basically for for the stucco we're double insulating the front wall and uh, as a result so we're putting R14 in here R14 see so and covering that back up anyway and then we're gonna uh, we're crossing it so that there's uh, no chance for coal to penetrate so we're gonna have an R28 on on the front and that's that's good see we've we've uh, cantilevered the uh, you can see the uh, no, it's a little bright is it better this way no it's still showing right anyway that's a little of what's going on this boxed out windows we're gonna we're gonna put double insulation in there as well so anyway so this is flush see the uh, the aspenite is uh, anyway okay that's that's it for now so uh, we're gonna be uh, we're coming out flush and we'll we'll see it later